we have only one planet, we need to be more efficient in the way we use resources. Fossil fuels is one of the resources. So I think, yes, more and more people fly, and it's increasing exponentially, so we have to do something. 50,000 flights a day, there's 5,000 aircrafts in the air at any moment. That makes a, a huge impact. So that is the point in Clean Sky, to find a good balance between impact on the nature and the urge to travel. From the very beginning, aviation is about generating more efficient wings. It's about using technologies that are out there and combine them together again so we can create a wing with the current state of the art and going beyond. The wing is the main part of the aircraft that produces the lift that, that really makes it fly. But at the same time, it's the part that generates also a lot of drag that needs to be counteracted by the engines. And if we are able to reduce the drag of the wing, we fly with less fuel burn. The solution in this case is we suck the air of the external part of the wing to create less resistance. So we suck the air in and that stabilizes the flow around the airfoil that it's stable also on the box where we don't suck the air in. We got a laminar flow up to 40 to 50 percent of the airfoil and that will reduce uh, the drag between 5 and 8 percent. 5 to 8 percent, they put this in numbers, an average long distance flight is 70 to 60 tons of kerosene. So a few tons that you save from every flight. From all the other technologies, especially in aerodynamics, you can't find anything comparable. I am looking forward to a team spirit in HLFC win. That is to say that each partner relies upon the other one and that we are all around the table and addressing the technical issues together. So we need to find a solution for future aircraft configurations, new designs, new, new processes, new materials, and bring them to an industrial, let's say, life and feasibility on a real aircraft. So there is the DLL, the German Research uh, Center in uh, Aerospace. The same thing in, uh, in France, which is uh, ONERA. Three industrial partners, Aernova, Sonaka and Airbus. At the end of the Clean Sky 2 in 2023, we will have won the knowledge, the tools, uh, in order to say, hey, industry, we are ready. And we have to work together, of course. Challenging, but possible. <laughs>